So what's going on guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I want to thank you for all of the support and donations on yesterday's stream. You guys were absolutely awesome. I never expect anything like that. Honestly, when I stream I expect about 10, 20 viewers but we get like 200 so it's just... You know, I can't process it. Anyways, guys, today's video is going to be about tips for qualifying for foot champions and how to do it a lot easier and quicker. But before we get into that, guys, I would appreciate it if you could smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And I almost forgot, guys, if you haven't seen it already, I would appreciate it if you could go back and watch the video from yesterday about the issues in FIFA 18 and what needs to be fixed. And yeah, that's about it. Let's get into the video guys. Now this video is not going to be a defending tutorial or attacking tutorial as such because I've already made videos like that before. There's a link to the playlist on the screen right now. The playlist includes a lot of tutorials about how to improve your game, but this is going to be more of the mental side I guess. And it includes a lot of the same things that I mentioned in my Foot Champions Weekend League video. But anyway, the first thing you need to make sure you have is a semi-decent team. Now I know you're probably thinking thinking already, how do I get a good team? I don't have money to spend in the game. And the honest truth is this year you actually don't need money to uh, get a good team. I just used 2000 FIFA points at the start to give myself a little boost so I could skip the starter steps. You know, like where you buy the kits and discard them, that kind of thing. But in order to get yourself a good team without spending money, I suggest you play squad battles. And the thing with squad battles is anybody can play it, you don't have to qualify for that, it's like an offline foot champions, and you get some really nice rewards for not doing that much. Like, you get some decent packs for not playing that many games where you can hit some nice players and make yourself some good profit to get a good team. And even if your pack luck is completely out, you get coins with the packs, so like, you can make a nice little team just from playing one weekend of squad battles. And if you don't know what I mean by a decent team, I mean a team with full chemistry, a team with quick players, a team with strong players, a team which is going to help you win. Because let's say you have a striker and three chem and he's not that good, he's not going to play very well, is he? His stats get decreased. And although teams aren't everything, they are a pretty important part because they give you an advantage, they give you the upper hand over your opponent. This step alone can give some players the boost that they need to actually qualify. The thing which they might have been struggling on or lacking is the team part. Like they might have had enough skills all along, it's just their team wasn't good enough to beat other people. So in short guys, it is important that you do get yourself a little cheap overpowered team to start off with, just to give you that little boost that you might need. Because you never know when that extra bit of finishing could come in clutch on your strikers or something, do you know what I mean? Win you a game, I don't know. Following on from this, you need to actually play the game. And by this, I mean, if you can't qualify for foot champions, it's no good playing once a week and trying again, do you know what I mean? You've got to really practice and see where you're going wrong. Because you can't honestly expect to improve if you're not putting in the effort to improve. The way to think about this is, was a pro player always a pro player? And the answer to that is no, they all started out just like the rest of us as noobs to the game. But the difference with pros is that they put that extra bit of effort in to improve to get the edge over everyone else. The same thing applies to qualifying for foot champions, there's a lot of people that struggle to qualify for foot champions, so if you're playing more than the others trying to qualify, the chances are eventually you will win. If you are struggling to improve though and you are playing a lot, one thing I do suggest doing is watching a pro player on YouTube, seeing what they do and seeing if you can implement what they do into your game. But the most effective method in my opinion is saving the gameplay when you lose and watching it back and seeing how you lost the game, seeing how you conceded the goal, see if you pulled out a defender or something when you shouldn't have. Because if you don't know what you need to improve, how can you improve in the first place? Because you, you're playing without an aim. If you watch back your gameplay and you think to yourself, oh, I need to learn how to jockey better, and carry on practicing jockeying in your next few games, you'll notice an improvement. So in short, guys, if you want to improve at the game, you have to practice. I mentioned this in another video, guys, but another thing you need to do is play when you're awake. Do not play when you're tired because you won't be playing at your best. 
If you play late at night and you notice you are tired, you'll probably recognise that you start sliding around a lot more, dragging players out, chasing the ball, missing chances, and you're just not playing as well as you would if you're awake because you don't have the same concentration, you don't have the same awareness or vision. For example, if you play a game at 6 o'clock in the evening, you might be able to make a, a really long range pass which you might not have been able to make at 10 o'clock because you, you're not focused enough to notice that kind of thing. So if you want to play your best and qualify, you need to make sure you're awake. Another key part of qualifying is composure. I see so many people storm through the first three rounds of the daily knockout and lose the final because they're nervous or their hands are shaking or they just can't play as well. And if that is you, because I'm sure there's a few of you watching, just chill out. If you can get to the final of the daily knockout, you can win it, believe me. And if you get to a certain round in the daily knockout where somebody has an incredible team and you're thinking, oh, how am I meant to win this? Take that as a positive because it's saying that a guy with a team that good is not able to qualify for foot champions because they're not good enough. Do you know what I mean? Well, I don't mean not good enough. I mean, they can't be that incredible if they're trying to qualify. So in short, guys, stay composed and treat every game the same and chill out and just play the best FIFA you can. Another thing that you should do if you do lose a game is stay Stay patient. Throwing a controller at the wall saying you hate EA is not going to help you win, is it? It's just going to make you a lot worse. And it's really hypocritical coming from me because I get frustrated as well. But you really have to stay patient if you are going to improve and win the daily knockout. But anyway, guys, that basically sums it up for this video. I hope it has helped you out. If it has helped you out, I would appreciate it if you could drop a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And more of a reason to like the video is the fact I didn't drag it out to 10 minutes for ad revenue, because people complain when my videos are 10 minutes long. But anyway guys, with that aside, I hope you enjoyed the video, have a very very good day, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.